This video content is strictly for educational purposes only. All demonstrations, techniques, and information provided in this video are meant to help you understand cybersecurity better. We strongly advise against using any of this information for illegal activities or unethical practices. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Welcome back. We're going to do something else. We're going to do something a little bit different today. We're going to do uh, steganography. Now, steganography is the idea that we're hiding data within data. We could do a picture within a picture. We could do a uh, document or a note within a picture. We could hide a picture within a WAV file, within a musical note. Uh, we do a variety of different things uh, with steganography. This is often confused with something called a Trojan, where we're hiding malicious data within a legitimate program or a legitimate piece of software. Completely different. Uh, because it's not malicious in nature, we're not, it's not a Trojan. Let's, let's stop talking about it. Let's just do it. All right, I'm going to open up my terminal. Uh, as always, we'll start with that. Blow this sucker up. There we go. And from here, to start this off, we're just going to type in apt and then dash get, install. And of course, steghide is going to be the program that we want. Uh, from here, we says permission denied. No big deal. We'll just put a sudo in front of it. Sudo apt, then get. Of course, install stay high, just like that. Let that sucker boot up and let it go to town. Now, once we've got that up and going, we've got that downloaded, we need to actually create our message. I'm going to use LeafPad, so I'm just going to type in LeafPad. If you don't have LeafPad, you can just uh, install it the same way. We're going to do LeafPad, and then uh, what do I want to name it? I think I'm going to name it, uh, what is it name it? Super.txt. Make sure you put that txt at the end of it. Sometimes that matters. So we're going to do that, and then I'm just going to put in, this is my super secret message. You know, complete with uh, complete with typos right there. Message, and Dr. K is awesome, because I have to self-congratulate myself. There we go. So we're going to go with that. I'm going to go ahead and save this and close that down. Now we've got our message. I'm going to do an ls. Now from here, all I need is a picture. I've got one downloaded. I'm gonna actually grab that sucker. I think I got it under my downloads. There we go, it's dark, drk.jpg. I'm gonna actually going to, well, I'm gonna move my super.txt over to my downloads. So I'm just gonna type in sudo mv, mv, and then uh, I have to name where I wanna put it. I wanna do super.txt, and then I'm gonna move it to my downloads. So downloads. Just like that. If I do an ls, we can see that's missing. And then I'm going to do a cd downloads and ls. And there it is right there, super.txt. All right. And we can see my Dr. K JPEG right there. All right. So now I've got them both in the same folder. Did I have to move them to the same folder? No, I could have uh, I could have just provided the extension and provided it, but I, I prefer it this way. All right. Now, before we get too far into this, I want to prove a point. So we're going to open up that folders right there. I'm going to go back to my downloads. I'm going to open up the terminal. We're going to go to drk.jpg, and I just want to do properties. And here you can see that our capacity, or I'm sorry, our size is 721, 722.1. All right, so I'm going to write that down, 722.1. Grab that pen right there. And we can see that 17, uh, excuse me, 17, yeah, I cannot talk, 722.1. KB is our full size of our JPEG. That's going to be important because I want to point this out as we move the image into there. We can see here the image itself, uh, 1792 by 1024. And we've actually got a checksum here that we can provide. Now, I'm going to take a screenshot of this just because. So I'm going to grab that screenshot. There we go. I've got that screenshot now. Uh, and I'm just going to, I just want to provide that, right? What do you think? Do you think it's going to change? There are my pictures. There we are. And look at that. We can see our screenshot right there. Okay. So we've got all that. We know that that is our process. Let me go ahead and close all this out. So first things first, uh, as always, we're going to do stig hide. And then I just want to do that dash H, that help file. Uh, it's telling me to do tac tac H. No big deal. We'll do that. Uh, and there we go. Nope. Still doesn't like it. I guess I have to do help. I guess if I read properly, we would see it, right? Okay, so here I want to point out a couple things, right? Uh, we can see the info. We can extract data from it. We can embed data uh, for the embedded file. So we can do embed. Uh, we can do info. We can display information about the cover file. We can do version, license, and then we see the embed file, right? So the file name, embed the file, okay? And then we have to do the cover file, 
as well. So let's go ahead and get this thing going. We're going to do, of course, sudo and then stag hide. And then we have to do embed because it told us to embed. There we go. Uh, from that, we need to identify our cover file. From here, we need to identify the name of the file we want to do. So, of course, drk.jpg, just like that. Then we need to do our embedded file, so ef, right there. Now we need to identify the name of the file, that's super.txt. Then we want to do a tag p for our passphrase we want to associate with it. How do we want to do it? I'm going to do one, two, three, four, because, I mean, that just sounds, that sounds legit, right? Uh, and from there, what do I want to name it? So I'm going to do attack SF. What do I want the file to be named after I'm done? Uh, I think I'm going to say super DRK dot JPEG because that makes sense. We'll just combine the two of them. Uh, I'm going to hit enter. And we can see that it's done in writing it right off the bat. If I do an LS, I can see here that I've got my super, where is you? Super dot DRK. English is not good today. All right, let's open up our file folder here because I want to showcase some stuff. Let's open up our downloads. We have our original right there. From there, I'm going to hit properties. <clears throat> I guess I didn't really need to do the screen share, but that's okay. Let me grab that one. And then I want to grab, come on, there you go. Then I want to grab the super one we just made, which is right here. I'm going to do the properties on that one. And I just want to point out a couple things, right? Look at the size difference. Uh, we have DRK, right, 722, and then we have the new one, Super DRK, 721. Now, I want to point out that DRK was 722.1, so nothing occurred to it, nothing happened to it, but now it's 722, it was 722.1, uh, so minor differences, probably just between the systems. Now, what do you think? Do you think this checksum's changed because we embedded a file in it? What do you think? And if you said yes, you'd be correct. Look at that. MD5 has a different checksum. SHA-256 has a ch different checksum. We could scroll down. Is there any more checksums? Nope. Okay. So we can see here that our checksums have changed across the board because we embedded new information in it. So we would be able to find out if we had an original and they had one that just looked just like it, we could check the checksums and make sure that if something happened, right? Because that checks for that file integrity. All right. So we would then have no idea which one has steganography and which one doesn't. But if we wanted to extract information, how would I do that? Well, and instead of that, let's just do info. Uh, and then that super uh, DRK, just like that. And I want to point out, it's telling us that we're going to try to get embedded information about this file. We're going to press yes. Uh, and we can see, could not extract any data with that passphrase. Let's try that again. We want to press the yes. And then one, two, three, four would be our information. And right off the bat, we could see that there's information around it, right? But let's say we didn't know the password. I'm gonna just try it on, just on our DRK one, right? Let's see if it happens right there when we do that. So JPEG, uh, and it says, yes, we wanna do it. It's asking me for a passphrase. I'm gonna do that same one, two, three, four, uh, and could not extract data with that passphrase, right? So we don't get any hints. We don't get any clues about it at all. We have nothing. However, I mean, I wanna point out, right? Look, so super DRK, Capacity, 33.2 kilobits. Same thing for this one, 33.2. Nothing is different between the two, even though the files are pretty much the same. So it's not telling us anything uh, with it. And I could try to extract information out of Stighide out of a picture. It's not going to tell me anything. It's not going to tell me one way or the other. Okay. So I did an LS real quick, and I wanted to see uh, to make sure we have that super.txt. We do. It's right there. I'm then going to remove that that folder, that that item. From here, I'm gonna type in rm and I'm gonna remove that super.txt. And you can see here that we have removed it, it's no longer here, so I am good. To okay, from here, we're gonna do that seg hide command. We're gonna do extract. We need to identify the file, so we're gonna do tac sf. We're gonna do that super, just like that. that there. And then we need to identify our passphrase, in this case, one, two, three, four, hit enter. Uh, and it says road extracted data super.txt. We're going to do an ls over here, and we can see that super.txt right there. I can then do a cat super.txt, just like that. And we can see here, this is my super secret message. Dr. K is awesome. You'll also notice that we did not remove our super.drk. Now, that's stag height. That's stag height. But let's, let's crack it. 
let's crack it now. Let's assume that we didn't know what we were doing. So I'm going to do a clear real quick. We'll do a clear off that screen. The program we're going to use for this is called Stegseek. So uh, I'm going to show you a new way of doing it. We can just type in Stegseek, just like that. Hit enter. We'll notice that it's not in blue. I'm just going to hit enter, and it's going to ask me, do I want to stall it? And I'm going to say yes. Uh, we go through the motion. It's going to tell me what my password is, and there we go. And so it's going to go through this process of actually unpacking it for us. Uh, and now when I type in Stegseek, you'll see it in there, right? I've always done the sudo apt install, uh, but we don't always have to do that, right? So I'm going to do Stegseek dot, or I should say tack H, go through there, and it's going to say the help menu. So again, just like before, we'll do that tack tack help. Uh, and from here, it can identify, much like with Steg hide, uh, how to crack into this, right? So it gives us the crack, it tells us the seed command, uh, and it even tells us our positional argument. So for instance, we want to do a crack, the name of the file, and then the output. So we're just going to follow that. So we're going to do steg sudo, and then we'll do steg seek, just like so. Uh, we need to identify that we want to do a crack. We have to identify the file we want to crack. In this case, it's going to be that super.drk, I should say. There we go. The JPEG. We need to identify the word list that we want to use. We want to use that rock you word list. Oops. U.txt. And then the output file. And I'm just going to put cracked, just like that, uh, and .txt. Okay. So from there, we'll go through it, hit enter, and we can see here that it found the password 1234, the original file name, and then the extracted file name, which is cracked. If I do an ls, we can see the cracked.txt right there. And from here, I can literally do a cat and then cracked dot txt and we can see this is my secret super secret message dr k is awesome 